Okay, we are live. Apologies for the delay, everyone. We should be up and running now. Okay, and hopefully we don't run into the same hitch as we did last night. Just double checking my mics and stuff. Looks to me like the mic and the desktop audio are good. All right. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. <coughs> so this is going to be game three uh, against the York New Hunters, our Hunter x Hunter themed team. So I do think I should have the picture up here. Just get that going to just explain the stakes of the game. Okay, so this was a uh, picture that I was not able to show during the last video, um, but this is going to show kind of how we're going to pick the the player that we're playing for. Um, it's going to be based on a random playing card draw and then a random number, um, and it's inspired by <coughs> the kind of Nen, the Nen concept in Hunter x Hunter and this like Nen graph um, that we have in the bottom of this picture here. Um, so what we'll do first is we'll do a random playing card and just the kind of number will dictate which position we're going to play for. And then um, the player kind of in that position is going to be a certain type of Nen user. Um, so last time, you know, we had Bisky Krieger as a starting pitcher um, and she is a transmuter. So transmuter was the kind of you know, player type. And then the second thing that we do is we draw a random number one through six. And what that does is those one through six correspond to these six different like circles on this um, net type graph where one is enhancer all the way around to six being an emitter. And then based on kind of how far away you are from perfectly lining up with the target player's type, that dictates like how difficult it is to unlock people. So similar kind of, you know, philosophy that we use in you know, against the other teams, um, but just kind of based on men. All right, so with that in mind, let's do a little bit of random number generation. So we're gonna draw a random playing card. Drum roll, drum roll. Okay, the nine of spades. So nine is right fielder. Um, I have to double check who their right fielder is. So let me actually look here quick. Right fielder for the Hunter x Hunter team. Um, it's either Karapika or, Leo, uh, or Leorio. I think Karapika is technically. Yeah, I mean, if Karak Karapika is the one who's playing right field, I'm kind of tempted to to set it as Karapika as opposed to uh, Leorio or whoever they have as as their right fielder. Cool. All right. So that's, it's going to be Karapika. So Karapika, I know off the top of my head, is a specialist. Got all those crazy, like, Nen chain abilities. Um, so Karapika is a specialist. So the next thing that we're going to do is draw a random number. One through six. And we got six. Um, so specialist is down here in position one, two, three, four, right? And five, six is an emitter. So we're not one away, we are two away. One, two. Um, so when you're two away, you go to this kind of bottom section here. Um, and Karapika is a position player. So basically we have to strike Karapika out twice and win, and we can uh, get him. Um, but if our right fielder doesn't produce two runs, our right fielder being either Delita um, or we'll, we'll kind of see or Langtree we'll, we'll see who our right fielder is going to be this game um, but they have to produce two runs and if they don't and we lose the game we'll lose the player so our right fielder up for grabs their right fielder Karapika up for unlock okay so those are going to be the stakes of the game so let's get the PlayStation up let's get it in full screen Okay. 
and let's go. Okay, so as I was talking about before, you know, we won the first two games of this series pretty handily. Um, you know, the second game was was a little closer. It was a just like a two two run kind of win, but um, <clears throat> this would be a nice nice one to sweep. We do have Ricardio coming up on the mound, so our right fielder is going to be, um, yeah, I guess it's going to be Langtree. Not super ideal, but she is, you know what, for this game, I like her though. We got to give her a shot. We got to give her a shot. I am going to move her up in the order just to give her a chance to be more uh, productive. So let's, let's just put her third. Then we can put Politoed like here. Okay. Um, all right, let's do it. Okay. So anyone just joining now, Karapika is who we're playing for. They're right fielder. Um, I just want to quickly double check the audio here. Yeah, just want to quickly double check the audio. Cool, sounds good. All right. Whew, okay. Let's get this sweep. Let's get this sweep. All right, Ricardio, the heart guy. Is our starter. Sorry, let me get up this little screen thing out of the way. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, so Ricardio has kind of a lot of junk. Uh, it was fast. Ricardio's got a lot of junk. I think his splitter is going to be the primary pitch. Um, yeah, splitter's going to be the primary pitch. So it's almost going to be like an LSP type approach. So I'm going to throw lots of splitters. Kind of like LSP's knuckle curve, and then try to get people out with ooh that is belted with knuckle balls and uh, change ups. <coughs> so a lot of like early counts. I'm gonna throw uh, splitters, and then hopefully once we get ahead of people, try to strike them out with knuckle knuckle balls and change ups. All right, so a nice quick first inning, one two three, for Ricardio, and we're rolling. Um, Karapika, I don't don't think got up that inning. So, on offense, our key player is going to be Langtree. Um, she's the one that we're uh, hoping you know can, can be offensively productive because that'll keep that'll keep her safe even if we lose. All right, Gemini Man evens the count to one and one. Takes that change up. All right, their starting pitcher is Emitter. Um, <laughs> so Emitter is one of the uh, kind of just random like Nen users that I filled their roster with. Ooh, good eye. Um, he's like, I think he's like an okay starting pitcher. Um, probably has like okay stamina, not much else. Ooh, squirts it almost up the middle, but not quite. Even Gemini Man Speed can't get him to first there. So ground out to shortstop. All right, Mustadio coming up. Mustadio playing this game, um, even though it's a righty on the mound. <clears throat> Mustadio normally, like ideally, is a platoon player. Platoon meaning he's really kind of only on against lefties. Um, but he, he can... He can still get some hits against righties. I forget what his contact is. 60s? Yeah, 63. <coughs> Power's not bad, though. 72. I mean, he can still hit a home run. Ooh, tough call there. Thought that was going to be an inside fastball. But they call it for strike two. All right, so one and two count here to Mustadio. And he takes. That was not a real swing. Yep, okay. Evens the count up at two and two. All right, so count two and two to Mustadio. One out here in the bottom of the first. Swings and misses a slider. That was an early swing for strike three. 
Okay, Langtree is up. I am going to try to get her on base with a bun here. And... Nope, not quite. Couldn't get it past emitter. Alright, so maybe a mistake, but... Had to try. Okay, so Shia Poof up now. And he hits a one-run missile. Oof. Home run right over the wall right there. So he's scary. Um... He didn't really threat, do much in the first two games. We had much better starting pitching the first two games, but he is he's by far their, their best player, their best hitter. <coughs> All right, Uvagin uh, from the... Or Uvogin, Uvagin, I don't know, from the uh, Phantom Troop is their catcher this game. So we got two quick strikes on him. Let's throw a knuckleball low and away. Doesn't bite. I'm going to throw the same pitch, knuckleball low and away. He's going to ground it out to second. Okay. So, if we lose this game, we're going to lose Langtree. So, I guess that's the benefit, too, of not putting Delita in. I would really not want to lose Langtree. I've gotten attached to her. She's she's a lot of fun. Um, that said, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Hope I don't you know jinx myself right now. But wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, Langtree's not, you know, not like a zero kind of loss. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go knuckleball low and away here. And we're going to get out of the inning, hopefully, with a throw across the diamond. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to quickly check the box score uh, to make sure that it is, in fact, going to be... Okay. So... I misread it there. Gold Specialist, I think, is actually the right fielder. He just grounded out, though. So did not record a strike out there. But going forward, it'll be Gold Specialist that we have to strike out. Or Karapika's in the game as a DH. Let's keep it as Karapika. So Karapika, um, I actually missed. She was up so fast, up and down so fast. So Karapika just grounded out. So that's not going to count. Um, we got to get two strikeouts in order to unlock uh, him. Okay. Sorry about that, but now we double check. So Karapi goes in the game as a DH, uh, but no strikeouts. Okay. So Hagrid takes a count, takes a ball, so it counts now one and zero. Oh. That is high and tight for ball two. So ahead in the count to Hagrid, very good power hitter by stats, but he's been pretty cold to start this season. That is going to be a ground out to the shortstop unless they have a throwing error, and they don't. Yeah, so Hagrid's cold streak continues. All right, Garrow. You know, the batting average not great at 254, but he's been hitting lots of homers. Ooh, just under it. He's been hitting lots of homers, um, and his batting average in you know, the last 10 games has probably been closer to, you know, 300, 350. Okay, so no fielding up with two outs now. This has been a quick inning so far. Emitter's only thrown 15 pitches. Oof. That felt like a better... That that, that should have been better contact. You know, I timed that change up well. Little, little miffed that that was such a weak ground out. Okay, so their eight here is Leorio. He's playing in left this game. Um, so again, healthy diet of splitters... That is going to be a double, probably. Yeah. Maybe even a triple. Can't get to it fast enough. Okay. Leorio with a leadoff double. <coughs> yeah, I think I think this game is feeling like it's going to be dependent on our offense. Um, so, you know, we don't have a great pitcher this game, though he might record his first strikeout. He does right here. That was splitter, splitter, changeup for that strikeout against Colt. Uh, back to the top of the order with Killua here. Takes a splitter a little too low for a ball. Takes a splitter perfectly placed, low and away. I'm going to try to sneak a knuckleball by him. Just cross our fingers, he doesn't belt it. Oh, he's going. Late decision, he's going to be out. Nice. That's great. So yeah, I don't know if you could see that there, but... The runner decided to go real late. 
Gonna be a tight play because Kill was so quick. Just got him. Nice. Okay. All right. That was that ended up being a good inning. A little nerve wracking with that leadoff double, but we we escape. All right. So here's Polytoad, proving himself as a power hitter. And he's gonna belt our first hit of the game, I believe. Yep. Nice little single, flared up the middle. And we got a run around first, no outs. Good way to start. Okay, so our boy Ness, again, recently back from injury. Oh, that would have been a good one to swing at. Don't know why I checked there. <clears throat> but yep, Ness back from, uh, from a recent injury. Ooh, now down 0-2 in the count. Polytoad on first, not really a great base stealer. He's got decent steal stat, but not great speed stat, and speed is really what dictates how good you are at stealing. Oof, good eye. That's a low, barely low fastball for ball one, so the count now one and two to Ness. Polytoad with a healthy lead off first base. And that is going to be a double play. Ugh. Had a chance of like almost squeaking by Netero, but he was there enough. He used that hand stop time move. Ooh, Princess Leia swings over a changeup for strike one. She's batting 250 with her contact stats. That's not too bad for her. So she's been kind of playing a little bit above her weight. She doesn't play all that much. Um, but evens the count at one and one. Fouls off a fastball there. <clears throat> count now one and two. Again, we, we need to be... Uh, it's not a swing. We need to be productive this game. Um, it's going to come down to, I think, us being able to score... I'm going to say five runs. If we can score five runs, I think we can win this game. Um, but I could easily see them scoring three or four. Um, so I think, yeah, five runs is the number I kind of want to produce to feel safer. And that is not going to do it. That's a fly out to center field. Killua gets under the ball. And a mitter through, what, three innings? Only thrown 27 pitches. Yeah. That is going to drop. So that's a base hit, a single, leadoff single for, who is that? Uh, Silver Specialist. Oh, gosh. Ricardio injured on the play. Never a good sign to have a, a starting pitcher injury. Um, you know, maybe silver lining, right, is that we are potentially going to get Bisky Krieger anyway after this game. So um, the nice thing that this game does is when you have an injured pitcher like that, it does kind of automatically warm up whichever pitcher you decide to put in. So you aren't, like, doubly screwed. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just putting Captain Falcon in. He is a, um, a good, like, long relief pitcher. He's actually, like, potentially better than Ricardio. Um, so not a bad sub here. All right, we're up. One and two in the count to Netero. I'm going to throw a down and in curve, hopefully to get him swing over for strike three. Oof, just gets a piece there. I'm going to try that same pitch down a low curve. I'm going to go even lower. Okay, he doesn't go for it. <coughs> um, so now that I've thrown him a, several kind of breaking pitches, I'm going to go up and in fastball, hopefully get strike three. Nope, still on it. So Netero is scary. If you throw him too many fastballs in a row, um, he could crank him. I'm going to go dangerous Oof, Vulcan change. Captain Falcon's Vulcan change has been scary. Low and away fastball here. Nice. Strike three. Perfect. Um, yeah, Falcon's Vulcan change. <laughs> uh, if you could look back at some of the highlight videos, that, that's been a bad pitch. All right, so Shiapoof, the solo shot hitter from earlier inning up. I'm going to try to get him to ground out to a double play. He is... Fast as F, though, so not going to be too easy. Runner stays put. All right, count is 2-1 and one to Shiapoof. I'm going to try it again to keep things low. Let's go low fastball. This is, this is, a, tough, this is a tough hitter to really pitch to because, um, again, you, you saw what he can do. Um, all right, so we got 
a full count. I'm going to try to get him to chase a low curveball. Try not to give him a good pitch. And he does. Wow. Late swing there. I thought he watched it for a ball. Look, look it was in the catcher's glove before he swung. If you watch this. <laughs> Latest swing ever. <laughs> All right. So two outs now in the inning. Captain Falcon coming in and doing work so far. Let's go low and in fastball. All right, ball two now to Yuvian. Don't want to lose this batter. Uh, can I just step on the bag? Nice. Inning over. Sweet. Okay. So Ricardio injured it's, you know, in some way. Hopefully he's okay. <clears throat> but again, we're more likely than not going to pick up Bisky as opposed to Karapika. Um, honestly, this is going to make it even more likely, probably, that even if we do unlock Karapika, I'll, I'll probably take Bisky, uh, particularly if this is any kind of real injury for Ricardio. We also just kind of, in general, need more pitching uh, than we do outfielders. All right, that is well hit. That might have a chance. That is gone. Gustadio. So again, I was talking about uh, at the beginning of this game, <clears throat> that he's not you know, usually a platoon player, usually not somebody that we play against right-handed pitching. Um, but then when I looked at that power stat, it was like 71. So, you know, and just proves it there. It's a, it's a nice home run, opposite field, 400 feet. Um, you know, making a solid play to be one of our, our go-to starters. All right, so Langtree up here. Again, we really want her to be able to produce two runs. Um, in order to kind of ensure that she's safe. If we win the game, she's also safe. But, all right, it takes ball one there. So the count now even, <clears throat> even at one and one. Fouled off a fastball, or, or fouled off, I think, a, a slider, and then took a fastball for ball one. Pops that fastball out of play for strike two. So the count now one and two to Langtree. Come on, girl, let's get on base. Fouls off a fastball there. That was a close pitch. You know, you never know with those. They could have called that. They could have called that strike three. Oh, swings and misses over a changeup. Okay, so it's getting pretty unlikely. Um, you know, Langtree could hit a multi-run home run or something, um, but getting pretty unlikely that uh, she's going to produce two runs. So name of the game really is to win the game you know if we can strike out Karapika a couple times um, I'll give it a look the kind of matchup of taking Karapika versus taking Bisky as a reminder we only ever take one player per series Ooh, Hagrid swings at a fastball up count now two and one still a good hitters count just swung on two and oh which is a you know an even better hitter count but two and one still good Ooh, thought that was going to drop low, but it just hung in the zone. So count now evens to two and two. Odds of getting a meatball kind of go down once it's two and two. That was hittable, just not quite enough power on it. All right, so that's going to do it for the inning. But Mustadio with that nice solo shot, that opposite field slap, <clears throat> ties the ball game. So now one to one. All right, so we got Karapika up here, so let's get that strikeout. Get a nice fastball in there. I'm going to go up and in with a fastball. A little too up, a little too in. All right, we've thrown a couple fastballs. Let's try to get a sinker in there for a strike. Ooh, hung sinker. We're lucky that's just a fly out. That was a bad pitch. But, again, you know, no strikeouts for Karapika thus far. We're already in the fifth inning. So chances of him getting up twice you know we really have two chances to get to strike him out back to back at bats so we're going to focus really on just winning this game all right so gold specialist now up 0 for 1 this game <clears throat> evens the count here to 1 and 1 let's go vulcan change low and away yeah i think i'm just going to not throw that vulcan change as a strikeout pitch i'm going to try to throw it to get you know strike two and then yeah use the fastball for for strikeouts. Um, I've been trying to use that Vulcan change as the strikeout pitch, but it's betrayed me. Okay, so Leorio up. And he rips one. Ooh, not a good read. 
by Gemini Man there. That was kind of awkward. Um, he definitely should have had that, but he got a real late start, and I, I didn't input that correctly. It's just <clears throat> sometimes the, the game kind of takes someone's um, stat. Ooh. Close play, ah, just missed. Um, sometimes I was saying the game will kind of make someone, like, kind of miss a play, right, to kind of try to mimic. Ooh, that was a strike. Mimic real life. Okay. So we need to get serious here a little bit. Let's go up and in fastball to Colt. Oh, shit. Don't dive, Brian. You're going to hurt people. This might be a close play. Ah, uh, not close enough. I really got to stop diving for balls like that. <clears throat> might get him here. Nah, no, just safe. <clears throat> yeah, Moana had an injury last game that gave us all some palpitations. Okay, all right, guys, Langtree. Langtree is at risk. Langtree is at risk. We are now down four to one. We are more than halfway through this game. Um, not quite halfway. We're, we're about to be halfway through this game. Uh, we are the home team, so, you know, we'll get a chance to answer. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of scary. It would be real sad to lose our girl Langtree. Ooh, foul ball there. Again, you know, we do have we do have some flexibility in the outfield, uh, but we don't have much. And, like, having to play, like, Luna Moth or whoever is our, like, backup, backup outfielder, not ideal. Okay, let's strike him out on an up and in fastball. Let's just get out of this inning. Not a strikeout, but a pop out into foul territory to Null. Okay. So we need to be smart this inning. We need to have good at bats. We need to, yeah, we need to have good at bats. Garrow is a good person to start off. Let's just get a solo shot. Get the, get the tone set. As low for a ball. <clears throat> Again, name of the game this inning is going to be patience. <clears throat> I'm going to want to work into deep counts, work into counts where we have you know, good hitting counts not swing at pitches like that. So difference between 1-1 one and one and 2-0 and oh is huge. 2-0, and oh, so much more likely to get a, a pitch that you can crank. But I got it anyway. <laughs> Rips the change up well over the wall there, 410 feet. That was essentially the pitch that I missed against um, Dr. Light in that game where we lost zero. There was a hanging curveball in a 2-0 count that I didn't swing at. That was a hanging, that was a change up, but had the same kind of off-speed nature. And that time I sat on it and blew it away. All right, Noel takes ball one. All right, this inning is shaping up exactly how we need it to be. We're being patient. Just got a lead-off home run for Garo. <clears throat> that was a strike, so that was a good swing. So the count now, uh, one and one for Noel. Oh, see, that was, I felt like I swung at that similarly to how I swung at it with Garo. You know, so sometimes it's just, you know, you don't get as good luck with the contact. <clears throat> All right, so one out now. Poly toed up to the plate. Swings at a, at a ball, probably. That, that probably would have been a ball. Would have been close. Count now 0-1. Ugh. That was a good pitch to hit. <clears throat> I thought it was going to drop a little more, but just stayed right in there. So count now 0-2 to Polytoad. Got to protect. That's that's not protecting. That, that's something I probably should have swung at, but I didn't. Uh, but we got away with it. Count now 1-2 and two to Polytoad. That's low. Okay. Even the count 2-2 two and two here, making them work a little bit. Closing in on 50 pitches, though... You know, still a low number. Polytoad rips it, but right at third base. <clears throat> okay, Ness. Let's keep it going, buddy. Let's keep it going. That's a ball. So I think Langtree is on... No, Langtree's batting third. Uh, Princess Leia's on deck. 
Right, I was thinking Langtree was in her normal position at the bottom of the order, but she is not. All right, Ness goes up in the count 2-0. Uh, 2-0 to Ness. So good hitting count here. That is probably well struck, but not enough. Um, he doesn't have the power, really, to do much with that. So we get one back in the inning. I'm going to let Falcon kind of pitch a little bit more. Um, he still has good energy, but he is a reliever. He is not a starter. Come on, Langtree. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go. Nice. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, Falcon, not a starter, right? So, you really don't want to put relief pitchers in for more than three, four innings. You know, sometimes if they're elite, you can get away with it. Langtree, is she going to get... Ooh, she's going to get there. All right. Langtree with two outs so far this inning. Trying. She's trying to stay on the team. Taking a page out of Zero's book. Let's see. Hopefully it works works out better for her than it did for Zero. All right, so Yuva again up. Their catcher goes down 0-1 in the count, but then takes that fastball for ball one. Hits the sinker low and away to Noel. And a pretty quick inning for Falcon. So I'm going to get the bullpen get the bullpen going for for Cap here. Uh, it's only the, what is it, the seventh, sixth inning. Um, so let's get Poseidon and Lupin. We're not going to have the closers get warmed up just yet. Hopefully we can take the lead this inning. Take the lead this inning and then, you know, bring in Lupin probably. Hopefully pitch a couple, uh, set up the closers well. <clears throat> All right, so Leia being patient. That's what we need. Counting out 2-0. and Emitter still on the mounds with 55 pitches, so being very, very efficient. Oof. All right. A little bit early on that swing, I think. No. All right, so count now 2-1 and one to Princess Leia. Let's see what we can do here. Inside, all right, ball three. So three and one count, you know, more than anything, I want a base runner here. So I'm not kind of going all out. Yeah. <coughs> Didn't want to swing at that one. Would have <clears throat> felt really mad if it was ball four. Good protect there. Yeah, so we're, we're just going for contact. <coughs> contact here hoping we can get her on base ah, I thought that was a good take Oof. that's tough that hurts all right be like a duck just water over the back here we go Gemini man all right low and away change up right there so one and oh <clears throat> we're being patient we're doing doing what we can that's inside all right, ball two. He's starting to lose a little bit of control. Yep. Getting people in the... <coughs> that kind of fits. Again, with him losing a little bit of control. 2-0 no count. Good hitting pitch here. That is well struck, but he's going to get there. Yeah. Just missed the gap. <clears throat> All right, Mustadio back up. If you remember, he had our... One run shot, that slap. <coughs> that slap to uh, right center field earlier in the game. Let's see what he can do here. Oof, tough call there. Down 0-2 now in the count. Yeah, that's the efficiency for a mitter. You could see it there. See, that's, that's what's kind of annoying about this game, right? That was a better pitch than what they called strike two. <coughs> yeah, hard to predict sometimes. Staying alive. Way to spoil that pitch, Mustadio. Making him work a little more. This is going to be this guy's last inning. Inside. All right, count now even at two and two. Base runner here would be clutch. Give Langtree a chance to hit the two-run shot. Keep herself safe. 
Good take there. Good take. That was close to a swing. I pushed X pretty hard. <laughs> Not hard enough. Outside. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's a bad call. Doubly frustrating, too, because it takes the bat out of Langtree's hands. She couldn't kind of take fate into her own hands there. All right, so Karapika, no strikeouts yet in the game. I'm basically going to let Falcon maybe try to strike her out. Uh, strike him out now that he's got uh, two quick strikes. I'm going to throw low and away curveball here and then go up and in fastball if this doesn't get him. All right, go up and in fastball. Strike three. Ooh, beautiful pitch. Beautiful pitch. All right, you know what? Let's let Falcon pitch a little bit more. Let's take Falcon out. That was almost a home run there. Um, so left-handed pitching. Left-handed pitching looks like the way to go. Leorio is good against lefties, but um, Colts. You know what? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go righty. I'm gonna go righty. Yeah. So Colt. Colt is, is going to be good against righties, but I think for the most part, this team is more good against lefties. <coughs> In general, like, good guys are good against right uh, lefties, and bad guys are good against righties, so this team is more good guy than bad guy. All right, swings over the top of the fastball there. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. Good strikeout by Poseidon. All right, so Leorio up. Leorio, again, not good at all against righties. It's good against lefties, so hopefully we can get out number three here, just get out of the inning so that we're facing Colt next inning without um, anybody on base. Wow. This, this ump has got a generous strike zone. Let's push that even more, go low and away with the slider. <laughs> that was almost realistic, like real baseball there. You know, the the hitter kind of saw them call that <clears throat> that slider that was, you know, a little bit closer than that a strike. So when you throw one that's a little bit further out, they're probably going to swing. Okay. So they're bringing a lefty in. Um, you know, again, Langtree, I'm going to leave her in in case... Like, this goes to extra innings or something. Um, and we have a chance to, to save her. Um, but still not looking great here. Oh, just a little bit late. That would have been a nice hit to get. <clears throat> All right, so count now 0-2 to our girl Langtree. Good eye there for ball one. Right, so the count moves to one and two. Inside, ball two. All right, so manipulator, let's see. Four seam, curveball, change up, two seam. <clears throat> two and two count to Langtree here. Outside, ball three. All right, we need base runners. We got a couple good hitters coming up. Uh, though Garo is one of them. Uh, not enough. Dang it. Garrow is one of them. Um, and Garrow is much better against righties. <coughs> it's tough, though, to pull him. I think I'm going to leave Garrow in. Um, again, just because of how a lot of these games have ended up going. Where we need someone like him up against a righty late in the game. Hard to take Garrow out. All right, so Haggard goes down 0-1 in the count here. Good take there for ball one. Fastball outside. All right, so count one and one to Haggard here. Good eye. That was one that, like, in maybe 20% of the time, this ump would call, would call a strike. He has a very liberal strike zone. All right, two and one, good hitting count here. 
little bit late on that fastball. <clears throat> Sorry for all the throat clearing, everyone. All right, right out. It's going to be a tough play, but he makes it. All right, guys, we're down to our last seven outs to save Langtree. <clears throat> so Garo coming to the plate here. Ooh, swings at a changeup just early there. Give me that again. Give me that pitch again. Outside. Oh, tough, man. These are, this, this strike zone is hard. This has been a pitcher, pitcher friendly strike zone here. Okay. One and two is the count. <clears throat> Scary count. One and two is like one of my least favorite counts. Oh, Garo, man. Don't ever take him out. Don't ever take him out. He just hit that off the warehouse. Man, don't ever take this guy out. Oh, wow. All right, Garo with two, two home runs this game. Pretty great. All right, we're now just down one. No fielding coming up. Takes a pitch high for ball one. Come on, Noel. Let's make it back-to-back -back home runs. Tie the game up. Outside, ball two. <clears throat> All right, he's rattled a little bit. We're way ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. Beautiful count. Beautiful count to hit a home run. Ah, it was a little jumpy there. Could have taken that for ball three. But alas, now two and one. Still a good hitting count. Still a count that you can hit homers on. Ooh, that was a better pitch. All right, move, we move now to the more dangerous two and two. And anything can happen in a count like this. That's a ball outside. Good eye. All right, so we take it full. Full count's very similar to two and two, maybe a little bit more likely to get a strike. Aye, okay. Ball four, we draw the walk. <clears throat> All right, so Polytoad is up. I'm gonna quickly check something. Polytoad's the DH, and he is decent against lefties. You know, I think though, yeah, I think I'm gonna put Delighta in. Um, you know, Polytoad is gonna be better if we go back around the order and have a righty. But if we have a lefty back around the order, delight is better. <clears throat> and this is an important situation. You know, a home run here ties the game. So putting a guy in who's more likely to hit a home run against a lefty, I think is the right move. Oh, that was a great pitch to crank out of here. Just a little late. It was almost too good to be true there. Oh, Delighta goes quickly down, 0-2 in the count. Swinging at that change up for a ball. All right, now we got to protect, but also be patient. Oof, good take there. That could have gone either way, but they call it. <clears throat> they call it ball one. Count now one and two. Good protect, good protect. That might have been a ball, but as that was coming in, that was covering the zone, so definitely had to protect that one. Outside, all right, ball two. <clears throat> all right, two and two. Much more action count here now. Let's go. Ah, oh, just early, just early. Really got a hold of that one, but just early. All right, so count still two and two. Mm, inside. <coughs> that was a dangerous take. <clears throat> All right, three and two. I feel like they're going to throw me a strike here. I feel like they're going to throw me a strike. Oof. They did. I was not ready for that fastball, though. Very late, but at least fouled it off, protected. All right, we're going to start Noel moving. And he does it. Yes! Oh, man. 
feeling like a good manager tonight, guys. Bringing Delighta in, works it to a full count. Blasts a home run. It's a deep, deep, deep left field. 410 foot blast, a no doubter. Could tell right off the bat where that was going. And we take the lead. All right, so trying to preserve Langtree. They're bringing in Phyton, a lefty. <clears throat> Still a good matchup for Ness. Ooh, swings and misses over that sweeping curve. Who do we have in our pen? We got Lupin. Uh, I'm going to warm up Birdo right now, too. <coughs> With the thought being that Birdo could... Um, oh, wow, Shiapoof. Only Shiapoof is going to get that. He's tall and he's like 99 speed. That should have dropped. <clears throat> okay, so let's just quickly look. It's the eighth inning now. So lefties we got a who do we have in right now currently we have poseidon in um lefties is the way to go right now so we are going to put lupin in and then towards the end of this inning we'll put nymeria in the pen too so right now <clears throat> right now we got birdo in the pen if Lupin gets in trouble. So he's got knuckle, cutter, and running fastball. So we're going to do kind of healthy diet of cutters, hopefully. Ooh, that's not that fast. All right. Let's try the running fastball. How fast is that? 88. Oh, gosh. No speed here. All right. Let's go up and in fastball. Doesn't chase. All right. So I'm going to go cutter low and away, like a backdoor cutter. Strike three. Ah, just gets a piece. Was he late on that so late on that i'm gonna do the same pitch backdoor cutter strike three cranked that one and that was early so now he's kind of timed up for that let's go knuckleball low and away oh. okay i don't want to throw another knuckleball i'm scared i'm just gonna to try to get a get me over cutter here um let's go get me over low and away fastball cranks it Come on, Langtree. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go. Yeah. Nice play. Hustles it down. All right. So, Killa was Zoldic up. This is a crucial out. We really want to get him out, and we should. Looks like a fly out to center field, barring an error. All right. Two quick outs in the inning. Two quick outs in the inning. Let's just double check, make sure this silver specialist guy isn't like really bad against righties. No, he's not. He's even. <clears throat> and then coming up next, we got Netero and Shiapuf. So definitely going to get uh, Nymeria starting to warm up here. Um, because ideally we'll get a strikeout here or, you know, an out here. And then have options in the ninth. I'll, I'll kind of survey their order. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go... Uh, probably Nymeria, but we'll see. All right, count is two and one here. Let's go cutter down and in. All right, fouls it off. I'm going to try to get him frozen on this knuckleball, low and away. Not frozen, but a fly out. Crushed, actually. You know, somebody with more than 50 power would have hit that out, but an out's an out. All right. So let's try to tack on a couple insurance runs here. That would be the dream. Princess Leia, good contact hitter against lefty, so I'm going to let her hit. Not going to go for the bunt here. <clears throat> ah, swings at a ball. Ball at her face. All right, count one and one. That is a nice hit right up the middle. Beautiful. Way to start it off. All right, an insurance run here would be great. <clears throat> insurance run would be great so good way to start oh great pitch perfect spot there for that cutter <coughs> so Gemini man down now 0-1 in the count oh, with that beautiful cutter from Phyton good take there on a sweeping curve down in the dirt Count evens to one and one for Gemini Man. Inside for ball two. So counting out two and one. 
good hitting count here. Let's open up. Ooh, outside. All right. <clears throat> so three and one count. Very good hitting count. But he throws ball four. Okay. Ooh, I like this matchup, guys. Two on, no outs. Mustadio, great against lefties. Also just been clutch lately. Let's see what he does. <laughs> I love when it works out that way. You know, I love when I sound like like I could see the future. Oh, Mustadio, I love you, man. What a great pickup last series. What a great pickup. 445-foot bomb. Second home run of the game. Really makes it so that Langtree can breathe easier. <clears throat> it's like that moment when the gorilla takes off his hat and shows that it's Jimmy B. Sorry, guys, for the, the spoilers. But, yep, up four to, you know, eight to four now. This game feels like we got it on lock. I might not even have to use my closers. Probably won't. So Langtree just kind of kind of coasting here. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll probably leave um, whoever's in. I think it's Lupin, right? Yeah, I'll probably leave Lupin in um, to just to finish the game out. Uh, if he gets in a little bit of trouble, we can always bring Nymeria Alberto in. Good take there. Ball two, two and one to Lion Tree now. Let's see what she can do here. Good hitting count. And she pops it up for the first out of the inning. Wow, I thought that was the third out of the inning, but only the first. We've had a nice little rally here. <clears throat> Got two men on, and Mustadio knocked him home. All right, so one out now here in the bottom of the eighth for Hagrid. Still ice cold right now. 0 for 3 this game. Takes ball one, fastball high, which to Hagrid means you threw it, you know, seven feet off the ground. Late swing there. Count evens now to one and one. That's a 94 mile an hour fastball, just to kind of keep that speed in my head. Oh, oh my gosh. That's the definition of a meatball. That is the, those are the ones you want to slap. All right, fastball outside, ball two. So count for Haggard now evens to two and two. I forgot to say Knuckle is the pitcher that's in currently. Ooh. All right, I recognize that pitch, but it was just a little bit late. That was the one that I just kind of completely sat on before. At least I recognized it there. All right. That was the same pitch, but way outside. <clears throat> we left Garrow in. He's already got two home runs, and he's going to be facing a righty. All right, facing a righty with Haggard on first. All right, Garrow, two for three with two home runs, two RBIs, and two runs scored. Pretty great. All right, here we go, buddy. Oh, really thought for sure that was home run number three, but a little bit too antsy. Swinging early at that knuckle curve, but that hanging knuckle curve, it's not that hard to recognize and when you do it is exciting exciting to behold oh see so that time i thought it was going to be the knuckle curve and it was the knuckle ball which is way slower weirder break so now down zero and two in the count gotta protect ah that's tough that's tough uh, okay here we go, Noel. It's all right, Garrow. You tried, man. Still got two home runs this game. Oh, Noel. That was a good knuckleball. That broke kind of all the way across the zone. A lot of times those knuckleballs break kind of more to the middle. But that was a that was a good one. All right, pitch out here. Count evens at one and one. <clears throat> two outs here in the bottom of the ace. Again, a nice inning, though where we really tacked it on, gave us a good sizable lead, really putting us in a good position to sweep this series, pick up Bisky Krieger, um, and move on with our lives. 
trying to kind of, you know, redefine the season post zero. Oh, painful, painful, painful. But we get the th three RBIs, the three runs, courtesy of Mustadio and his big old bat slapping it deep to left field. All right. So Netero up. We got a couple runs to play with here. They can score two runs, and I won't be that nervous. You know, if, like, Netero hits a homer here, it won't make me super nervous. Um, I don't really want to put him on base, however. Uh, I would rather he hit a solo shot than I walk him. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be a fly-out hustle, Garo. Yeah, nice. All right, one down. Nidoro flies out to deep left center field, but a fly out nonetheless. The dangerous Shiapuf now up. He's a running fastball inside for ball for strike one. Let's go cutter low and away. Franks it, but that's going to be pop out to Gemini Man. Beautiful. <coughs> All right. So they're down to their last out. A game that felt ill-fated. Looks like it's end up going to end up favorably for us in a very favorable series. Let's go. Strike three. Not quite. Oh, gosh. So help me God. If, if I just injured him after all that talk, please don't. Please don't. 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 Okay. Thank gosh. He's fine. Okay. So Karapika. Oh, wow. So technically, if we strike out Karapika here, we could get Karapika. Um, I still think we're probably going to go with Bisky. But we have a chance. And you know what? Let me just double check something here. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring in Birdo. Why not? <coughs> so, much better matchup for um, against Karapika. We're now down 2-0 in the count, but let's see if Birdo can get a couple strikes. All right, Birdo gets one strike. Let's go up and in fastball here, and then Birdo's going to try to end Karapika. Ooh, with that curve. All right, let's do curves. Let's do a low curve. Hopefully get this for strike two. All right. Here we go. 3-2. Final strike of the game. We strike it out. We could get Karapika. Ooh, just hits the... The curveball here. You know what? Why not? Knuckleball. Let's go. Let's go crazy, guys. Ah. <laughs> so the knuckleball doesn't get a strikeout, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we would have gone with Bisky anyway. If it was Killua, we probably would have taken Killua, but pretty sure we'd take Bisky over uh, Kropika. But nice, sweep the series. We're gonna pick up a new a new pitcher, Mustadio. Great game. Two home runs. Garo also with a great game couple homers all right so i'm going to quickly trade for bisky and then i'm going to play one game against the midger meteors bruised hand okay a few days so not that bad not bad at all sorry about that i don't know why they switched me to the Mega Man x team we are the ragtag rangers yeah our next game is against the midger meteors Series after that is Star Wars. Um, we're then going to come back to play the York New Hunters again. And then just looking briefly towards uh, May, we'll play Game of Thrones again, Adventure Time, Mario, um, and eventually going to get to the Phantom Troop. But don't worry, we, we play them a lot. And those will be some scary games. <clears throat> but okay, so let's grab Bisky real quick. Um, so we're just going to do like a random starter here. Uh, let's give him a decent real person uh, for Bisky. Yeah, Bisky's only a 73, but again, pitching's pitching. All right, here we go. We got Bisky. Uh, so Bisky Krieger currently listed as a long relief pitcher. 
which got 81 stamina. Gives up a lot of home runs and a lot of hits, but decent strikeouts. Um, really good break and velocity. She's actually pretty good. I'm going to make her the starter instead of Falcon. <coughs> um, while Riccardi is injured. <coughs> And then yeah, I think she's gonna be. I think she's gonna be a new starter in the rotation. I think she's gonna replace replace her cardio. We'll give LSP another couple chances. Um, okay, so let's get going. Uh, sorry, I have to just do a couple of these things. Fix all. Samwise Gamgee with a broken hand. 60 day injured list. Nefer P2. No longer injured. Moana no longer injured. Heck yeah, she's back. Okay. All right. So, just real quickly, uh, let me just remind you all about uh, the Midgar Meteors, how these games work. So, these are the. That's the Mega Man X team. Sorry about that. Midgar Meteors are funny. They're the ones that are like all different things with seven. So it's supposed to be kind of like the um, golden saucer, right? So like casino, um, casino kinds of things. So lots and lots and lots and lots of sevens. So I'm going to roll dice really quick right here. Um, if we get a seven, like crap style, it means if we lose the game, we lose a player. Also, if we lose a game by seven runs or more, we lose a player. So don't want to have any blowouts. Um, and then the rest of the things are, are more things that we're going to accomplish over the series. Um, so I have a highlight video that that summarizes a Midgar Meteor series that you can that you can watch to kind of get how it works in, in real time. But basically, I'm just going for lots of strikeouts, you know, walks, stolen bases, and then focusing on the seventh inning. Because um, if we have seven hits in the frame, you know, in the box score in the seventh inning, if we have seven runs in the box score in the seventh inning, that gets us a point. Um, and if we score seven runs in the seventh inning, which is what we did last series, we can just instantly unlock a player. Like that's how we got Mustadio. So again, I'll kind of be updating as we, um, trying to talk through it as we go, but not as much of a, we're playing for a player as we are, um, as we are just like, uh, let's do random.org. Not so much playing for like an individual player when we play the Midgar Meteors, but more doing a, you know, the whole series is like part of it. So we're gonna roll quickly two virtual dice here. And we got a uh, nine. So not gonna lose anybody from, from that way. So as long as we don't get blown out, shouldn't lose any players here. Okay, so let's make it full screen. Let's get the game going. Okay, so Zeno Zoldek is going to be our starter. Always good to see Zeno on the mound. We are away, so we're going to be playing at the Midgar Meteor Stadium. I forget where it is. PNC Park, okay. Overcast. Put in Zeno. Uh, all right, so Moana's back. Let's give Hagrid the day off. He's getting a little haggard. <laughs> haggard, haggard. <laughs> um, so lefty. So who's going to be good against lefties? I know Frodo is. Let's do Frodo. Frodo's going to be the uh, the DH. Yeah. DH, right? Yeah, because we got Mustadio now. What's Moana doing down there? Okay. This looks good. Gemini Man, no, see, no, done, yeah. Moana. Okay. <coughs> uh, no, we're going to do Moana and Ness switched. Put Ness deeper in the order. Okay. That looks good to me. I got to move this Bobby Witt guy off my roster. I don't know why it keeps using his name. I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna pop a cough drop real quick. 
makes that clacking sound, but I think that's better than the cough. I don't know. Maybe people will disagree with me, but... <clears throat> okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so... <clears throat> When playing these kinds of games where we're going for, you know, multiples of seven, that kind of thing, it's really just about action. You just want to get lots of strikeouts. You want to get lots of hits, lots of runs um, to put yourself in a good position to have, you know, seven hits, seven runs in the seventh inning, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just all about uh, trying to perform well, which is kind of why, it, it's, why it's fun. Uh, rather than being hyper-focused on one player or something, it's just about trying to play play well. So you're rewarded for drawing walks. You're rewarded for getting home runs. You're rewarded for stealing bases. You know, you just got to kind of keep, try to keep playing well the whole series. And you you can unlock people. All right, so count now one and two to Gemini Man. <clears throat> That's going to be a tough play. He's fast. Ooh, that was well fielded, though. Who is that? Is that Noctis? Did they put Noctis in as a defensive replacement? Yeah, sometimes they do weird things. I think that was technically Noctis that made that play, and they just took him out. <laughs> All right, Moana, here we go. Let's go. Solo shot. That's inside. That's the ball. Sinker low and in. So already this umpire looks like he's going to be calling a little bit of a tighter zone. That would have been a strike, I feel like, last game. Inside. Ball. All right, beautiful. Moana up 2-0 in the count. We all know what she can do. Let's see if she'll do it. Ooh. I liked that one. Just just barely missed that. Nope. Good eye there. Three balls and no strikes. All right. So three and one to Moana. Mustadio on deck. Also a good home run hitter against lefties. There we go. I mean, it's on cue with this girl. Oh. Oh, my gosh, Moana. <clears throat> Moana has nine home runs in, like, a month or something. That's like Aaron Judge, eat your heart out. Wow. Oh, Moana. Great shot. Great hit there. Okay. So we got one home run already in the series, getting seven home runs in a series. Um. Getting seven home runs in a series is one of the conditions, so already on our way there. Mustadio now takes it 1-0, 2-0. Ygraf is, Ygraf is nervous, guys. <clears throat> I can tell you, he is nervous. Ooh, swings over the curve there. That was a great pitch. All right, so 2-1 and one to Mustadio. Great hitting count. Oof, fouls the sinker off. All right, let's give me a give me a hanging sinker home run. Let's get a hanging sinker home run. Oh, thought that was going to hang. But that was actually a good curveball. That was pretty well timed. Uh, that was early. Okay, that was a good curveball. All right, so two outs now for Delita. Low and away curveball there. For strike one. Swings over the top of a curveball. Wygraf's curveballs work in this game. <coughs> All right. That was outside, so I wasn't really tempted to swing at it. But the other ones, I've been pretty tempted to swing at them. Yeah, I have to kind of... I don't know why they're playing Vincent at shortstop. Sometimes the computer does weird things. He's like not a good shortstop. All right, we get a run, though. All right, so now that Zeno Zoldik's up, we want lots of strikeouts. <clears throat> Zeno is a pretty good pitcher to get uh, to get our 7K. So um, the condition for this, <clears throat> for the strikeouts, is you have to get seven strikeouts with 
one pitcher in one game. So usually that's going to be the starter, right? So we want to try to get him up to 7Ks. It's going to either be Zeno or John Boy um, are going to be our guys that can accomplish that. All right, pop out. Pop out to um, right field, Delida there. All right. Low and in fastball to Vincent. Let's go fastball low again. All right, fouls it off. Let's go high and tight cheese. Fouls it off again. All right, so now we're way ahead in the count, two and one. Let's go slider, low and away, strike three, get one on the board. Nope. I am going to let that drop. <laughs> that is the one kind of little gimmicky thing that I will do sometimes when I'm going for all these strikeouts. Sometimes you pay for it. Um, but trying to get seven strikeouts, you know, sometimes you let those go to give yourself another chance at a strikeout. All right, the dangerous Kimari Ronzo coming up slaps a single up the middle. Typical Kimari fashion. Ah, I tricked him, though. Oh, that's frustrating. <sighs> okay. Thought I had him caught in like a rundown basically, but just threw it away from first base. All right, we need to we need to get him out here. All right, slider low for strike 2. Let's go up and in fastball, get our first strike out of the game. Beautiful. All right. Way to work out of it, Zeno. So now we got 1k. Got one home run. No field and coming up to the plate. Decent against lefties. Not quite as good as he is against righties, I don't think. No ball, one strike. Yeah, he's 70s for lefties. He's 80s contact and power against righties. Good eye from Mr. Noel Fielding there. Evens the count at one and one. <clears throat> that's a ball, too. Right, so two and one to Noel. Great hitting count here. Good time to hit another homer. He slaps it. Is that going to get out of play or be caught? Ooh. Run down by, I think that's Agrius in left field. Frustrating when that happens, but is what it is. Ooh. Ness hits the high sinker. Fouls it off there. Down now 0-1 in the count. Mm, slaps a, single, a sinker. Fouled on the third baseline. So now we're down 0-2. Broken bat. Going to be a tough play for Barrett. Going to have to hustle, but he makes it. <clears throat> Somebody with a little bit more speed than 59 uh, might have been safe there, but... Broken bat singles are lucky anyway. All right, Frodo takes strike one on a low and away sinker. <clears throat> Not really a great strike two call there, but you know, we live and we learn, I guess. Mm. All right, foul ball. So Frodo frozen in an 0 and 2 count here. Is it ball one? <coughs> My least favorite count now, 1 and 2. Oof. Just misses there. Ball two. Moving to 2 and 2, a little bit of a better count. Ah, but he pops it out. That was a good pitch to hit, but just didn't didn't make good contact with it. All right, so pretty boring little half inning right there. Agrius is up. Again, as a reminder, we have one strikeout now with Zeno. So trying to just get more. Let's go up and in with a fastball here. All right, one down. 
Okay, we got Barrett. Barrett is scary. Barrett hits a lot of home runs. So, I guess cheated, got a little high fastball by him there. We're going to go low and away with a slider here. I'm going to go low and away with a splitter, and then going to go back up and in with heat. Nice. Over the top of the splitter. Late. So, he should be late on an up and in fastball. Oof. Didn't get it to the spot I wanted. Let's go way up and in now, and he's early on that. All right, I'm going to go up and in again with a fastball and then go back. Ooh, nice. All right, two strikeouts. Not how I thought he was going to swing it there, but I'll take it. Strikeout. So Zeno now with two Ks. Gets a quick one by Chocobo. High and up and away. Now high and tight with a fastball. We're going to bury a slider low and away for strike three. Uh, try again. Bury a, bury a slider away. Strike three. Not quite, but a line out to Moana there at second. Good quick inning for Zeno. Gets another strikeout, so now two strikeouts through two. <coughs> Princess Leia is going to slap. That's going to drop. That's got to drop. Yeah, nice. I was going to try to go to second, but smartly send her back because she would have been gunned down. Nice leadoff single. The dangerous Politoed now is going to lob it to center field. That's going to be a fly out. A little frustrating there. Okay. <coughs> Gemini man up now. Princess Leia taking a standard lead off first base. Gemini man takes a decent curveball there. A little bit of a hanger, but well located, well enough located. Nice. That is going to be just a single, but I'm going to try to go first to third. Oh, and he works it. Yes. Beautiful. So Gemini Man is so fast that I was really just trying to go send the runner um, first to third, but Gemini Man was like already at first by the time that runner was at second. So all in all, it worked out, but... Ah, dang it. Moana, a little bit antsy there. Didn't wait for her pitch. So grounded out a little one to the pitcher. All right. Mustadio up in a great situation against a lefty. Let's go. Oh, swings over the top of the curveball. Too early. Really got to be patient with that curve. Got to watch for that curve. Yeah, that curveball is, is getting me right now. I'm having a hard time picking it up and not swinging at it when it's that low. Okay, that time I did. <clears throat> All right, got to be mindful of that curve. Mindful of that curve. Ah, oh, that's such a good pitch right now. Oof. All right, wasted opportunity there. Is what it is. <coughs> All right, Zeno, as a reminder, with two strikeouts now, moving into the third inning. Quickly up in the count to Gold Spire. Let's go way high. Doesn't quite chase it. Let's go a little bit more reasonably high up and in. Ah, dang it. Pops it out, not a strikeout. But Zeno with a one hitter so far. Kamari Ronzo has slapped that, slapped that one up the middle. Kate Sith up now. It's going to fly out, hopefully, if Delighta doesn't totally mess it up. Flies out to right field. Back up to Tifa Lockhart at the top of the order. Takes strike one with a low fastball. Let's go low splitter for strike two. Nope, but a line out to short. <coughs> so no strikeouts that evening, but... Nice quick one for Zeno. Back to Delida. Again, another good hitter against lefties. Takes a ball inside. I think I got to sit on the curve. <clears throat> Sat on the curve, but didn't kind of get what I needed. <coughs> I might challenge this play if they let me. Let's see. 
We're going to do our little cheat here where we just let the computer replay the play and see if we were safe. So they have Vincent playing shortstop, which is doesn't make sense. Yeah, they got him. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so an unfortunate ground out there. Noel takes ball one, low and away. Swings at ball two. So we're even now at one and one. <clears throat> Y-Graph sets, delivers, ball two. That's a splitter low and away. He's thrown 46 pitches with one out in the fourth, so he's not being super economical, but good take there. Oof. All right, so three and one count now to Null. Great hitting count here. Nice. Good take. <clears throat> Ball four. So now we got a runner on with one out. He's a, got decent speed and stealing stats, so the computer's going to pay pay good attention to him <coughs> better than they would to you know someone with didn't have as much speed um, so you know they might pitch out here which is nice because it gives Ness a 2-0 count nope they didn't so that's a perfect example of you know Vincent just having that slow flip to second um that's just because he's not a shortstop. He's a catcher. I don't know why they're, they're playing him there. And they don't have cloud in the game. You know, sometimes the computer does weird things. I can only control so much as far as kind of how they manage the rosters. That should be a base hit. Nice. Seeing eye single for Frodo there. <clears throat> right through the hole. This is a nice angle. Yep. S splits the defenders. Gives Princess Leia a chance here. She slapped a nice little single a couple innings ago. That is another nice slap, but just a little too much on it. <coughs> All right. So, as you know, again, only with two strikeouts, I think, so far. Uh, we currently have four hits coming into the fourth inning. Not a strikeout, but allow us to just keep doing work here. All right, let's 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 try to strike out Kamari here. <clears throat> Way early on the fastball, so let's go splitter low. All right, fouls it off. All right, now we have a lot of pitches to work with for the strikeout. Let's go way up and in. <clears throat> let's try to go a little bit less up and in, but still that same spot. Nice, strike three, beautiful. That was a nice at bat for us. All right, so three strikeouts now for Zeno. Two outs here in the inning. Gilgamesh takes strike one low and away. Let's go back foot slider. All right, he fouls it off. All right, and we're now in a great spot again. I'm going to go slider in the dirt instead of high fastball, slider in the dirt. Oh, how'd he hit that? All right, I'm going to go same spot. All right, doesn't swing at that one, but that's going to set up the up and in fastball for strike three. Ooh. He recognizes it, and it's somehow early. So early on that high fastball, so let's go another low and in slider. Oh, I love those. Ended up on the outside corner, but nonetheless, what a beautiful pitch. <clears throat> okay, so Zeno now with four strikeouts. So looking like we might get to the seven that we need to get that condition at least. Oh, Polytoad swings over a sinker. <coughs> Ooh, hit by pitch. So that counts as a walk. We need to get seven walks in a game, though. I don't think we're anywhere close to that. We may have one other walk. Maybe. That's a ball. Watergraph. Wygraf is a little bit more of a wild pitcher, though, so he is someone that could give up a lot of walks, but I don't think he has this game. Oh, man. We're hitting into lots of double plays, just 
It has not been a great offensive game for the boys. All right, Moana. Give us some more of your magic. Do it for Matanui. Oh, how is that not a home run? Too early. Okay, fine. <clears throat> All right, ball one, sinker low and away. All right, so Moana now with a one and one count. Let's get another homer, kid. All right, ball two, sinker up and away. <clears throat> two outs here in the top of the fifth. Still just one run on the board between our two teams. All right, splitter, low and away. <clears throat> Getting Moana on base would be great, too. Let Mustadio come up. Oh, why are you swinging at that? Why are you swinging at that? All right, full count. Ooh, staying alive there. Very early on that curve, but connect with it enough to foul it off. Oh, that's frustrating. Swung at a couple balls there to turn a walk into a strikeout. All right, so Zeno with 4Ks as a reminder. It's a quick strike here on Agrius. I'm going to go up and in again with another fastball here. <clears throat> All right, let's go slider low and away for strikeout number five. I like it. All right, just need two more. The dangerous Barrett to the plate. Oof. Do not want to throw him high pitches. I'm going to give him a lot more junk than I give most people. All right, slider whiffs it. I'm going to go way up and in, like a definite ball. Oh, Zeno. Rolling, kid. Six strikeouts now with two outs in the fifth. We just need one more. Chocobo whiffs at that one. Whiffs at that one. I'm going to throw an even higher and tighter one. Wow. What a great inning. Zeno just strikes out the side, gets the seven strikeouts. All right, so one condition net. Cool. All right, Mustadio back up. We're in the sixth inning. We still only have four hits. <clears throat> so getting seven hits in the seventh frame is, is possible. Um, we just need three hits between this inning and next inning. So we could potentially get, that's one hit. Nice. <clears throat> so we could potentially get, um, you know, two conditions met this game, which would be nice. All right, so now we got five hits here in the top of the sixth. <clears throat> I think they've only given up a couple walks. We haven't stolen any bases. <clears throat> All right, one and no count to Delida. Ooh, late a little bit. Yeah, definitely late on that sinker. <clears throat> he hasn't been throwing that as much. All right, that's a ball, low and away with a curve. I'm feeling it, this pitch. I'm feeling this pitch is going to be a good one to hit. Oh. It's well spotted. That was a hanging curve ball, but it was outside enough that wasn't that tempting. All right. Low and away. Uh, no, I'm not going to send the runner because I don't want the strike him out, throw him out. Oh. That's unfortunate. Pop out to right. All right, Noel, come on, buddy. Let's open this game up a little bit. Get us more than one run. That should dunk. Yeah, that's got to dunk. Okay. Let's let's hold him. Let's hold him. <clears throat> yeah, he would have been out. I mean, with Vincent, maybe he would have errantly thrown it, but it doesn't make sense. Okay, they're bringing in another lefty. This is Zach, a.k.a. Cloud Strife. Again, another spoiler. Sorry, guys, if you haven't, haven't seen the... haven't played Final Fantasy VII. <clears throat> Ooh. 
All right, Ness fouls it off. Come on, Ness. You got 72 contact and power against lefties. Let's let's prove that here. Okay, well, not a hit, <coughs> but an RBI. And I think we now have, what, six hits? Yeah, six hits. So, you know, honestly, I kind of want to just get one more hit here. Just have Frodo get a nice little single. And then the weird thing about this whole seventh hit, seven hits in the seventh frame, or whatever, I have eight hits in the seventh frame, I don't get a point. So it has to be exactly seven. Which is why, ah, that stinks. Okay. So the one benefit of this is, you know, we have six hits going into the seventh frame. So if we get just one hit at some point in the seventh inning, we'll, we'll kind of meet our condition. All right. So Zeno doesn't need any more strikeouts. Everything now is just kind of cherries on top. Um, he's also pitching a shutout right now. A, is it still a one-hitter? Yeah, a one-hitter. He gets a fly out to center field. All right. Here comes Kate Sith. <clears throat> Somehow that's called a ball. Zeno cranks a 99 mile an hour high fastball by him. That should be caught. Yep. Okay. So two outs now here in the sixth. Only 62 pitches so far. Low fastball there for ball one. Splitter fouled off. Evens the count. Let's go up and in heat. Whiffs it right by her. Let's go up and in heat even higher for strike three. No, not quite. All right, let's get that beautiful spotted backdoor slider. Ends up a front foot slider, but good enough. <clears throat> Ground out to shortstop. All right, and we keep rolling. So Princess Leia in. Again, so we just need one hit. Let's try to just get that. Ah, uh, no, she's got better contact. I was going to bunt with her, but... She has pretty good contact against... Uh, that would have been a good one to bunt, though. Okay. All right. We need one hit, guys. One hit. Holly Toad. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. It's ball one. one ball, no strike. Yeah, so one hit would get us seven hits in that seventh frame. Which would get us, you know, another unlock point. Ah, swings over the low splitter there. <clears throat> Evens the count at one one. Ball two. Two and one on a low and away cutter. <coughs> this is a good hitting count here. Let's go, Polytoad. Not going to do it. <sighs> okay. All right. It's up to you, Gemini Man, right? It's up to you, Gemini Man. Should I bunt? I'm a little bit tempted. I'm going to try to drop one down. He's so fast. Oh, all right. Not going to drop two down, though. Don't want to give him two strikes. Okay. Come on, Gemini Man. Give us a hit, buddy. That's low. One and one. <clears throat> All right, we need a hit. That'll give us that seven runs in the seventh inning, seven hits in the seventh inning. Unlock. Ah, oh, not going to do it. Okay. Well, we'll have more chances in future games. But <coughs> looking like the only thing we're going to get in this game, <clears throat> most likely, is the seven strikeouts. Oh, I think I could technically win by seven. I guess if I start blowing them out in the eighth and ninth. All right, let's go low and away slider here. 
did not go. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try that same pitch, low and away slider. See if we can get him to swing. Beautiful. Eight strikeouts for Zeno now. Yep. Okay, he's still rolling. 73 pitches here. <clears throat> In the bottom of the seventh with one out. Whoa, Kamari swings at a splitter. Terrible splitter, but he swings at it. Inside heat for ball two. Let's go with another splitter. Fouls it off. He doesn't like that splitter. We're going to go low and away slider. Hopefully strike him out. Beautiful. Oof. <coughs> All right. Nine strikeouts for Zeno. 14 strikeouts would be like two points, by the way. But 14 strikeouts is pretty crazy. So that's like very, very uncommon. Ooh, broke the wrong way there. That's going to be a ground rule double. Okay, we don't have a lot of wiggle room this game. You know, it could kind of get away from us quick. So let's try to get another K here. Work out of the inning. Okay, that's fine. Again, I mentioned 14 strikeouts, but what we have nine now, we need five more, and there's only six outs left for them. So 14 strikeouts is a huge number. That's super hard to get. <coughs> All right, they got Yuna. They're a closer coming in. I think just because they have to. Moana with a little broken bat. Explosion over to first base. So after that home run in the first, hasn't done all that much else, but it's okay. Still gave us that magic. All right, Mustadio up now. Again, better against lefties, but hit that home run against the righty yesterday. Rips one down the line, but foul. All right, so 0-2 count now to Mustadio. That is well hit. That's got a chance. That's got a chance. That's got a chance. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mustadio. Wow. <coughs> Against another righty. Wow. He has really proven himself. He's definitely going to make his way to a thumbnail. And that's... Is that three home runs now? I think that's three home runs now, right? Oh, no, no. The other one's not. It's two home runs in this game. All right, so we got the seven strikeouts. We got two home runs. If we somehow blow them out in the next two innings, we could win by seven, which would be uh, cool. Another point to, that we could unlock. <coughs> All right. So one out now, runner on first for no fielding. Probably going to try to work Garrow in somehow. Actually, is Knowles the... Yeah, if we get to Ness, or uh, Frodo Baggins, I'll, I'll work Garrow in. That would be sweet. Get a bunch of runs. That is well hit, but not going to be quite enough. Fly out to right field there for Noel. All right, so let's hope Ness can get on base to give Garrow a chance to come up against Yuna. That would be a nice matchup, nice way to get close to that seven run. That's well struck. That might be a gapper. That might be a gapper. Oh, they just get there. Okay. All right. All right, Zeno's still rolling. 83 pitches, still pitching a shutout. Again, if we get five strikeouts somehow in the next, you know, six batters, we technically could get more points. We could get that 14 strikeout rule. All right. Mm, eh. Single up the middle. Repair it there. If they get one more base runner on, I'm going to start warming people up. Nice. Good call for us there. Let's go up and in fastball. Fouls it off for strike two. Let's go up and in fastball again. 
Strike three, beautiful, all right. <coughs> That's 10, four more needed. Ball. Let's go low and away. Fastball. Well hit, but Politoed will get there. All right, so, you know, still need four more strikeouts, right? So, yeah, so basically every out from here on out has to be a strikeout in order for us to get that double strikeout point. Which that actually might be a base hit. No, she's got it. Okay. So Zeno gonna fall a little bit short on the 14 strikeouts, but well, so they bring in a lefty here, so we're gonna leave Garo at least for now. Frodo decided real late to bunt there, but like the decision, gets him on base. He's a good contact hitter against lefties, but sometimes it's nice to just drop those bunts down. Um, you know, it's late enough in the game. Let's just bring in Hagrid. Yeah. Hagrid has like not a lot of stamina right now, but um, he's just gonna have just have to catch the, the bottom of the ninth. Ah, uh, just just missed it. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, but I wanted to bring Hagrid in there because he can hit home runs against lefties. If we win this game by seven runs, we <clears throat> get another condition met. So that's what we were hoping for there. Didn't quite work out, but totally fine. Poly toed up to the plate now. That might dunk. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. Yep. <coughs> that was a little bit creepy to watch. It's kind of hard to tell what was gonna happen there, but I think I read it well enough off the bat to know that was gonna be a single. Ah. Oh. Don't know why I didn't swing there. Fastball right down the pipe for strike one. Now I swing at the bad pitch. Change up in the dirt for strike two. Let's go, Gemini man. Let's do it. Stays alive. Fouls off the slider. Down and in. So this is yellow chemist. He's got a four seam slider. Change up two seam. Got a lot of stuff. That is well hit, but not going to be a home run, I don't think. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just barely makes it out. But guys, now we're, we're just... I thought he was going to catch that. I thought that, was a, I thought that was an out. I think he kind of mistimed that. That was just over the wall. Ooh. <coughs> okay. So, let's take a look here. So Moana and Mustadio. I'm really tempted. Well, let's see. If we can get to Delida, so there's one out. If we get to Delida, he's def Garo's def definitely gonna come in. But if Moana like gets out here, I might even put Garo in for Mustadio and then do some kind of extra trade here. Um to get that uh that chance at that seventh run with a home run by by Garo against this right handed pitcher. But, you know, if Moana just bombs one right here, maybe we don't even need Garo for that seven, that seven, um, that home run. So, yeah, I'm trying to get seven runs in this game. That's another condition in the unlocking Midgar Meteors players. All right, so Moana quickly down in the count, 0 and 2. You got it, girl. Let's go. Takes a ball outside. Count now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Fouls it off. So keeping the count one and two. <coughs> Moana can hit homers against righties too. Don't count her out. Good take. Did not swing. Nope. All right, two and two count to Moana. Anything can happen on a two and two count. Ooh. Well hit. Just a wee bit early. 
Count stays two and two. Staying alive, staying alive. Fouls off a seven pitch of the at bat. Moana is battling. Ah, good pitch there. Okay, so, you know, I know Mustadio has been hitting home runs against righties, but, I mean, look at the 94-90 for Garo. I think we got to do it. Then we can put Patrick Starr or someone at, yeah, we'll put Patrick Starr at third base. <coughs> <clears throat> Garo is our clutch home run hitter. I mean, I know <clears throat> Mustadio and Moana have been doing it too, but but he doesn't get it done there. Ah, frustrating. <clears throat> it's okay. All right. So let's switch people around a little bit. Let's get Patrick Starr in for Garo. And then let's quickly just move Patrick and Moana. Because Moana's a better third baseman. <coughs> All right. Zeno is going for the complete game shutout here. Currently only giving up three hits. from a complete game shutout, 6-0 victory. Sad that we couldn't get that seventh run, but alas. You know, currently with 10 strikeouts, can he make it 11? Ooh, good pitch there, but he doesn't chase. Let's go splitter, low and away. Oh, you know what? Technically, if he's safe at first. Now nah, we got him. Okay. <coughs> Zeno has 11 strikeouts this game. Complete game shutout. 11 strikeouts. He's got to be the star player. Yeah. No earned runs. Gemini Man with a home run. Stadio with a home run. Moana with a home run. So we got three home runs. Uh, so that counts positively for us. Didn't have seven hits or seven runs in the seventh frame. Um didn't get the win by seven. So we got the strikeout accomplishment. We got some home runs. Um, yeah, and we move towards a sweep. Sweeping a series counts as a, gets you a point too. So we'll see. We'll see if we get this requisite seven to get a new player. <coughs> but all in all, a good game and pretty quick. <clears throat> all right, so that is gonna do it for the stream tonight. Um, expect a little highlight compilation at some point this week and probably some more streams next weekend. Um, but thank you all. Good night. I'll see you all soon.